Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. This is Poseidon Hotel. Of course, as building automation, it uses KNX. This is Zeus Hotel and my customer wants to be able to control the outdoor lights of the hotel using also KNX. So far so good, but furthermore, he wants to control the outdoor lights of Zeus Hotel using the KNX switches that are located in Poseidon Hotel. Unfortunately, I cannot connect the two hotels using KNX bus cable. The good thing though is that the two hotels share the same local network through a fiber optic cable. Since KNX protocol has got us covered, all we need is to use KNX IP routers which link KNX lines together over data networks using the internet protocol IP. If you want to learn more about KNX IP routers, please watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description. For this demo, I will use this KNX IP router from Vineshare, which combines KNX IP router and KNX power supply. I will connect the KNX bus cable, the required 230 volts AC power, and of course the Ethernet cable. We are ready for programming. First, I will open ETS6. This is the KNX project of Poseidon Hotel. As you can see from the buildings panel, there is the building structure of the Poseidon Hotel. I have also created the building structure for the Zeus Hotel. However, I haven't added any devices yet because first we need to open the topology panel. This is area 1 for the Poseidon Hotel. If you look at the devices, it has already a KNX IP router. Just a quick reminder, this is area 1 of the Poseidon Hotel. In our case, the IP router will act as a backbone coupler with physical address 100. So, to add in our project the Zeus Hotel, we need to create a new area, area 2, and add in this area another KNX IP router, also as a backbone coupler, with physical address 200. The two areas will be connected through the backbone line, which in our case will be the fiber optic cable that connects the two hotels. Click on Topology Backbone. Note that the backbone medium must be set to IP in order to make our topology work. To add a new area, click on Add Areas. I will name the new area Zeus Hotel. As medium, I will select Twisted Pair since all the KNX devices in Area 2 will be connected using KNX bus cable. Area 2 has been added. To start adding KNX devices in Area 2, right-click on it and select Set Current Line. Now we can add KNX devices to Zeus Hotel by clicking on Catalogs. From Vincer's online catalog, I will add the KNX IP router. As you can see, the assigned physical address is 200. For the purpose of this demo, I will add a few KNX devices directly in the main line. Allow me to perform a full download on my KNX devices so that I can continue working on the Poseidon Hotel. Since the two hotels are on the same network, both KNX IP routers have been discovered. For performing the full download, I will select the KNX IP router of the Zeus Hotel.
in this actuator, I have linked four KNX group addresses for the switching objects and four group addresses for the status objects. These group addresses with this configuration can only run locally on Zeus Hotel KNX area. Therefore, if I right click on the KNX IP router and select Preview Filter Table, you can see that the filter table is empty, meaning that there are no group addresses that can be routed in Poseidon Hotel area. The same also applies in the filter table of Poseidon Hotel's KNX IP router. So at the moment, there is no connection between the two areas. The goal for today's episode though is to be able to control the lights of the Zeus Hotel using a KNX switch from the Poseidon Hotel. Let's see what will happen if I link the group objects of Poseidon Hotel's KNX switch with the group addresses of Zeus Hotel. The filter table of Poseidon Hotel's KNX IP router now is filled with the group addresses of Zeus Hotel. And of course the filter table of Zeus Hotel's KNX IP router has also been updated. That means that now these group addresses can be routed from one area to another. Allow me to perform all the necessary downloads in order to test it. For our test, I will use the group monitor from Diagnostics Tools. I will select the KNX IP router of Poseidon Hotel, but you can select as well and the KNX IP router of the Zeus Hotel. It really doesn't matter. For simplicity, I will filter the group addresses so as to monitor only the group addresses of the Zeus Hotel. Let's start. As you can see, everything is working as expected. The KNX switch of Area 1 sends the relevant group address with value on, and the KNX actuator of Area 2 responds with the status group address and value active. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.